Forcecon 2022 um, was very nostalgic, at least uh, from my perspective. It brought me back after 20 plus years to see the um, AETC Air, Edu Air Education and Training Command and how technologically advanced they've really gotten with their training. Um, there was a lot of aspects of virtual reality, a lot of automation, which it really tugged at my heartstrings uh, to know how far we've come and being in the cyber industry to know how, how at least they are taking uh, several steps towards mm -hmm. the cyber industry um, yeah. to address their training, uh, their training needs, because that, that, that was a big, that was a big, uh, a big ask and a big, uh, a reason why they were there. Um, so it, it, I loved every, every minute of it. Um, every, same every here. Vend, all I liked the vendors, it too. I enjoyed it. Yeah. Um, but I was very impressed with, with, with the innovation, mm. um, the innovation and you can, you could see, um, how far they've come, but you could also see, um, how they're really trying to get after yeah. uh, a, a lot of the gaps that'll bring their ideas and solutions to fruition to be able to help the the war fighters. I like that. Yeah, no, I, I agree. I agree. I, I, you, you're talking innovation. That was the uh, recurrent theme at ForceCon 2022. Um, surprisingly enough, too, there were a lot of talks of workforce development. You know, I like that because uh, <laughs> we specialize in in doing our part in cyber workforce development. And actually, I wouldn't be here um, and, and being able to help with the efforts to develop the cyber talent if it wasn't for AETC. Everything yes. I learned about, you know, computers and cyber and then the successful career I had is because of the training I received in AETC. So it was an honor to be able to attend ForceCon 2022 to see yes. um, what we can do to contribute to that effort to improve the workforce development efforts for the warfighter. So it was definitely a pleasure and an honor um, being there, Techport um, and Arena. Freaking awesome for hosting that event. Great venue. Great venue. I wasn't able to make it uh, to, to the, the tournament because they did have a tournament where all branches faced off against each other in esports. I didn't make it. Um, I'll have to go back and see who won that. I'm hoping it was the Air Force. Well, I did see that the Air Force was the Halo winner. Oh, there we go. Yes, yes. Yeah. The, the Air Force was the <laughs> Halo uh, portion. Um, but that just kind of shows, you know, the Air Force dominance. Um, Air Force dominance, yes. airspace dominance. Um, but fly, fly, win. It it was it was great to know that that all branches were represented. The, the yes. Coast Guard, yeah. the, your guardians, mm -hmm. um, your airmen, and and, and so um, it was great to be around um, all ranks. I seen I seen all ranks yep. um, represented throughout your 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 teams mm -hmm. uh, for the Army, the Navy. Um, but Stars it, and stripes. Yes, uh -huh. it, it was it was great. <laughs> you know, I had a chance to talk to to some of the young um, uh, gamers. I think I, I pulled a, a, a young soldier aside and just kind of um, just outside of the bathroom mm -hmm. um, as in passing, just being able to ask him a, a yeah. few questions about uh, his journey there and and, and what he did. Um, you know, for the army and how he got to to, nice. to being. You know, I remember that conversation. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. That was freaking awesome. Yeah. Yes. Hearing from a soldier and, and their experience being on a on on the first what do they say the first sanctioned uh, esports uh, tournament team for a tournament. Um, that's pretty cool, man. Yeah. That's pretty cool. It, it, like you you think back, um, and, and I, I don't know about you, my early days in, in being in cyber and IT. Uh, the guys in my offices would always get together and do LAN parties. Remember those? When they used yes. to get together and do LAN parties? Yes. Um, so, no, we've come a long way from what I've seen in my early days in IT, uh, what, what my you know, co-workers doing LAN parties, to now this all branches coming together at Techport and Arena for ForceCon 2022 for a face-off. At the, at, at the closing ceremony of, you know, talking about innovation mm -hmm. um, to, to, you know, get upskill the, the war fighters. So that was freaking awesome, man. Yeah, I mean, it was, you could see the, the, the sense of competition, um, but in the end, it was all still a love and, and, mm -hmm. and being able to, to, to wrap everything all together with, with the technology and, and the workforce development piece. Yep. Um, it, it, it all spoke volumes and, and it, you know, all plays a part uh, into the bigger ecosystem.
Yes, it does. Yes, it does. So, um, great event. We it was an honor for us to be there uh, to continue to serve uh, airmen in all branches, soldiers, sailors, and everything in between. Mm-hmm. Uh, civilian workers, yes. right? Contractors, everyone who plays a part in developing the innovative workforce development programs and initiatives to the warfighter. So, kudos to everyone that was involved. Kudos to Port San Antonio, Tech Port and Arena, uh, AETC, Air Force. All all the branches. Um, <clears throat> who else? Am I missing every, anybody? No, I think you covered them all. That's it. And we will be there next year. So see you at Forest Con 2023. Yes. Y'all take care. Thank you. 